My name is Zimbabwe Mati Anjo. I am the Chief Executive Officer of Ngai Rural District Council. Uh, I joined the Ngai Rural District Council in the year 2005 as the Council Treasurer. Then in the year 2010, I was promoted to the post of Chief Executive Officer. As Ngai Rural District Council, we are mandated to provide public services and public goods to the community of Ngai. These services include, amongst others, roads services, water services, sanitation services, health, education, and other services, of course. Um, as in Guy Rural Council, we've got departments to ensure that we provide these services efficiently and in an effective manner. Um, we have the administration department which is responsible for the general administration functions of the council. We have the social service department which is responsible for education, health, water, sanitation, amongst other services. We have the technical department which is responsible for the engineering services. Then we have the finance department which generally provides support services to the rest of council departments in ensuring that there is proper public financial management. Then we have the environment department which is responsible for the environment upkeep of the, of the district. Basically, this is the structure of our organization. Then, of course, we have the wing within the administration department responsible for information and publicity. Uh, was want to ensure that people get the proper information concerning the services that we provide. Uh, as Mkai Rural Council, we quite a number of projects that we are implementing to ensure that we provide uh, good services for our people. We have, amongst others, a sewer articulation project, we have a housing project, we have water and sanitation projects, we have got the uh, establishment and construction of health centers, uh, deep tanks, uh, laboratories and secondary schools that we are doing uh, to ensure that we improve the lives of our people. Makai as a district is endowed with uh, so many resources, chief amongst them uh, is uh, Timber, which is actually the biggest revenue earner for the district. Uh, for the moment being, there is a company called uh, Pride of Africa, which is doing the harvesting of teak. We are uh, trying to add value and also creating employment in the district so that people can have uh, better standards of living. And the animals. Around. This is the, 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 the forest uh, commission area whereby the elephants, Cobalt Valley, you can see an elephant crossing this direction. So they are cutting this type of tree, Moko, this Moko. We are also working towards uh, designating certain places so that they become special economic zones where we are looking forward to do uh, a number of partnerships. This is the Mbaje Dam, the, the one of the biggest dam in Kaiti district. Yeah, this dam acts as a tourist resort area. Uh, uh, during the years of 1990, there were uh, some houses uh, who were booked by the tourists. Uh, and uh, there were 
because I'm those small people in canoe boats. So what you want is a rapid to cancel. It's very hard to see this thing. It's also a heavy So if we can find someone who can be able to come and assist us in rehabilitation, we know that most of the tourists will come into this country. Garo Artist Council will benefit and also the community, the community at large will also benefit. As you can see, there is a different species, species of birds in that area. And this dam is also big. If it can be rehabilitated well, it won't get dry. Irrigation scheme uh, can also be established here. Uh, Mkai has got also a very high potential of uh, cattle business. Uh, roughly the statistics indicate that um, about uh, three quarters of all the communal uh, areas do we have uh, cattle. In this area we have tried to mobilize uh, public cattle sales where annually we, f we sell over 5,000 heads of uh, cattle and it is netted about um, an average uh, $500,000 going to the communal uh, households. In this area also the local authority is working on uh, establishing partnerships, especially in the area of adding value. Uh, currently we are looking at um, a creating an avatar in the CBD where all the uh, products from livestock can be processed. We are also working in the township to upgrade the roads. Uh, I think since 2016, the local authority has done about five kilometers of uh, roads being surfaced and we look forward to continuing doing this so that all the roads in the urban areas are made matching the standards of other uh, urban places. We are also doing a housing project in a place called uh, Down Stores. Uh, we have allocated over 450 stems in the past years between 2016 and 2018. Going forward, we are looking at establishing the designated setups where we have basically the high density, medium density and the lower density. Currently, Kai just has the high density areas. The other areas of interest where we have uh, worked with uh, NGOs are the areas of education, food and nutrition. We have worked uh, also with uh, NGOs like um, help from Germany in the areas of uh, making a living out of livestock. There is also the Milana project that has been focusing on rehabilitating the irrigation infrastructure and uh, the results have been quite uh, immediate where we have seen uh, farmers or local households increasing their habits and having maybe better nutrition. There are also areas which I may not mention but maybe that are important to the local authority needs mandate and these are the areas of uh, education and health. Currently Mkai has got a uh, few of these facilities so most of uh, the people walk long distances to access either education or health facilities so with that in mind we have tried to speed up the processes of establishing uh, health centers clinics there is also a drive of establishing more schools so that uh, 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 children can walk shorter distances. We have also in this area of education uh, worked with uh, NGOs like World Vision and girls emancipation so that they can be educated and uh, compete with men equally when they go out there. There are also other projects that we are doing like the establishment of uh, laboratories in uh, Gowe High School where we want uh, science subjects to be the core of attention. 
in the district. But above that, within our forest, we've got a lot of, of bees, and our forest has got a good environment for, for bees to live in. As I speak, we have already a lot of beekeeping activities taking place in our area, especially in Ward 1, Ward 24, and Ward 30, where there is a lot of beekeeping. And uh, considering the environment that we have that is conducive for beekeeping, there is a lot of opportunities for those who are interested to come and do beekeeping projects. Not only that, but deep in honey production, processing, and uh, as you know, honey is one of the products which are widely used, especially if it's naturally produced like ours that we have in like Kai. So that's our competitive advantage that we have maybe compared to, to other areas. Our honey is natural and uh, it's, uh, it's good honey, which uh, most people are interested in. So we are calling for those interested in investing in the honey industry to please feel free and approach us. We are able to produce the honey for you because as I speak, we have already trained quite a number of, of women and youths in beekeeping and they are already, as I speak, producing that honey. But we need some part who can come in and maybe do further processing and packaging uh, of that honey. So it's another area of interest in our district and uh, we are calling those who are interested uh, to come as as council, we are prepared to offer support services in terms of training, in terms of marketing, and other services that you may require. So basically, I think that's what I can say uh, as far as our beekeeping industry is concerned. Now moving on to other natural resources, the guy is situated in an area where there is a lot of sunlight and um, there is a high potential when it comes to solar projects. As I speak, we are already engaging with quite a number of partners in the solar project and we are still looking for more interested partners to come and partner with us in the solar projects. Um, we want to speak solar projects as well as me projects, especially for our institutions and small business centers who want to do many projects today uh, for, for, for the solar. So we are calling upon those who are interested to come forward and partner with us in those solar projects. So basically, these are some of the things that we have as the Kaya Project Council and uh, we are hopeful that uh, uh, as we partner with Investors, as we partner with the, the community itself, we will be able to, to attain and make sure that the lives of our people are, are generally improved.